let us start from there chapter 19 is the chapter of Mary and there is a first right in the beginning a word it's called Kahayas who is a Muslim want to tell us what Kahayas mean and as you see the Muslim they don't translate do you know why because they cannot understand what is that You are the one who made me to go there. I will make you sorry. Hmm? Any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us. What can he ask me? Kaf ha ya in sod. By the way, the ka ha ya is not exist really in Arabic. It is only a word here connected together, kahayas, as you see here in Arabic. The Muslim dismantle it and they make it letters. Why? Because they cannot explain what is that. What kahayas mean? This is the verse number one in the chapter speaking about Mary, the mother of Jesus. What is the secret with this kahayas? Who is the Abdul when I tell us what kahayas mean? Hmm? Hello? Hello? Uh, 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 uh. Who is a Muslim? Beautiful Muslim. Anyone? Okay. Let us explain easy what Kahayas mean. <clears throat> All right, let us see here. Kahayas, before we explain what Kahayas is, we need to explain to you what the alphabet numbers are. Okay, we will try to show you the alphabet in the screen. Okay, for sure, for you guys, you do not know what does that mean. I mean, those letters. But this is the Arabic alphabet, and every letter is equal to a number, and this is taken from the Aramaic. This is not something about Arabic. This is an Aramaic thing. So every letter have an equal number. So letter A, letter A is equal to 1. A as Alif. We call it Alif, A. And letter B is equal to 2. Letter J, J is A. So the alphabet, it goes from 1 to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which means the letters in the alphabet from one from A to the letter number ten, each one of them is equal to the number of that location of that letter. And then the letter number eleven, right after, will be double immediately. I hope that this is not a little bit complicated. It's not really. It is simple way to understand. I will do my best to show you. So the letter here in front of me, as an example. So we have letters in Arabic. This is A. This is the first letter here, equal to uh, uh, 1. The second letter ba is equal to two. The third letter is equal to g to two to three with the ja. So this is continue until we arrive to the letter number ten, and the letter number ten will be equal to ten. Are we clear in that part? I think it, we are clear, right? This is easy to understand now. Now, after we arrive to number ten or letter number ten, every letter after that will be double the uh, the the tenth letter in number so if this one is 10 the one after it is going to be 20 which means letter number 11 then we arrive to the 100 and then the letter after it we will do the same method we did with the letter number 10 which is number 11 after it we make it double 
So you will notice here the written letter after it will become 200. Letter after it will be th uh, uh, 300. Letter after it will be 400. Do we understand? All right. Now, what this is all is about. It's very simple. In the old days, the scholars and those who have, let us say, they want to send messages, especially during the time of Christianity, was under bad, bad discrimination. They used to send letters, but nobody can understand, which means they put like now, Kahayas, as you see. Here we go. After 1400 years, the stupid religion, the cult of Islam, cannot understand what Kahayas mean because this is have nothing to do with them. So if they arrested somebody in the road and they found with him sentence written with such a language, doesn't mean anything. What Kahaya insult? What is that? They are letters. And if we put them together, they mean nothing. But if you are a person who knows the secret of the alphabet, then you will find out by putting the numbers next to each letter and then you will come with a new sentence. So look what will happen. If we take Kahayas, Kahayas will be simply equal to the following letters. Kahayas as letters, which may contain Ka, Ha, Ya, Ain, Sa or Sod. If we calculate the numbers of those, we will come with the number 195. 195 is equal to the following sentence. Christ is my God. And you are telling me I cannot find you that Jesus is God in the Quran? Muhammad the thief, he copied this sentence and those words from Waraq Abd Nawfal, who is a Nasara. It is written in his book and he have no idea what is that. He took it, he put it there. And notice that this is the chapter of Maryam, the mother of Jesus. It's not a coincidence. It's not an accident. It is meant to be in the first verse of the chapter speaking about Mary. Okay, I will explain to you more, my friend. No problem. Every letter in the, in the, in the alphabet have an equal number. All right? Every letter in the Arabic language have a number. So we have the ka, we have the ha, we have the ya, the ain, the sod. If we put all the numbers together, they will be equal to 195. Then the 195, we will find out what words will be contained in the 195 based on the letters. They will give us a unique coding. So the word Messiah, al Messiah will be equal to 1 plus 30 plus 40 plus 60 plus 10 plus 8, and that will be 149. The word Ilahi will be 1 plus 30 plus 5 plus 10, and that will be 46, which means Christ, my God, is 195. This is something is taken from the Aramaic. Muhammad, he have no idea what is that. He is a copy thief and he got himself busted. And we see this right in the front of our eyes in the first chapter, in the, in the first verse in the chapter of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And the Muslims until now, they try to give you their own gossip, guessing, trying to fight this. What is this? What is that? But they cannot. 